Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a little test to see just how much the glass on a lens can take and if you really need a filter or not. Now, personally, I use filters because a lot of the time I just like to take my t-shirt, wipe it off, and then I don't have to have a care in the world. So it's easy for me. But uh, I got a donor lens here that I don't care about ruining. So we're gonna kind of put it through the paces here. So let's get right to that. Actually, before I get to that, if you watched my last video, which was the Pentax 6-7 unboxing, um, I've got a whole video made that's waiting in the wings. I sent um, some film out to Vancouver to Caresdale Camera for processing. I'm gonna get them to process my first few rolls before I start doing my own. Um, so I'm just waiting on those negatives to come back. As soon as they get here, they should be here tomorrow, maybe the next day. I'm gonna scan them, throw them in the video. So you can look forward to that video. Uh, I'll probably be next Monday, I'm assuming. Um, anyways, so let's get to this thing. All right, so what we got here is a uh, Minolta 35 to 70. Don't care about it. it. It's just an old lens and anyways, whatever. Um, now, I know that all different camera companies have different glass and this is an older one, newer one, whatever. So it's not going to be, you know, the end all test. This is just to have a basic idea of, you know, what, this, what these things can take. Now, I'm going to get rid of that filter. So We'll start, oh, between everything, I got a microfiber cloth. I'll wipe it off like that. And then we can be kind of like a reset button. I got another camera over here, so. All right, bad news, guys. So the entire time I was filming this video, I had this Nikon J1 as a secondary camera set up on a tripod just to the right that was facing here. So it was filming probably just this little area. And I'm going like this, and I was just showing the progression of the lenses and uh, the lens and the scratching and all that and how it was going. Sadly, this piece of crap stopped filming at one minute and 15 seconds, which is crazy because I was under the understanding that it would film for 20 minutes. So the, the whole video, I'm going like this. Maybe I should have just been going like this. Um, that sucks, but I kind of say what's happening with the lens anyways. And then uh, at the at, at the beginning, I've got, I had some B-roll showing, you know, what the front of the lens looks like. So there'll be that. And then I'll just show you at the end of the video what we ended up with. Now, thankfully, throughout the video, as I was doing the test, I said what was happening with the lens. So sorry about that. Won't use that camera again for a secondary camera. Uh, maybe better luck on the next one, I guess. All right, guys, enjoy the video. I'll show where we're starting off. All right, so now first things first. Um, so just t-shirt test. Everybody, a lot of people do this. Of course, that's not going to do anything. Everybody does that. I do it all the time, so it's all good. Um, now, what if you, uh, what if you're at the beach? You're not wearing a shirt. I don't know. What if, what if, what if whatever. How about jeans? We're gonna go with jeans here. All right. Because uh, everybody wears well, not everybody wears jeans, but sometimes you're wearing jeans. Maybe it's winter time. I don't know. And then you don't have access to your thing. So there we go. Jeans. And of course, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's fine. What about something a little more scratchy? So I got a jacket here. It's a regular jacket that you might wear if it's fall or whatever. Anyways, so we're just going to take a rip on that and say you want to use that. Let me put it on this side here. Now, just a suspected nothing. Glass is looking pretty good. All right. Now, say... Here, you know what, just let me use the pants I'm wearing too. They're just cargo pants, but uh, yeah, still looking good. All right, now, what if you're out in the woods and um, you're naked? That could happen, not to me, but it could happen. Or are you really organic? You only believe in, you know, free range, everything, this and that. You grab a leaf, it's something, so we'll do that. All right, let's take a look. It's got some marks on it. It's probably just like, you know, from leaf juice or whatever. So we'll give it a little wipe here, or a little reset tool. Ooh, 
Ooh, that leap really did something. That's a surprise. I didn't see that coming. Ah, it didn't do anything. It's coming off. All right. So I'm just gonna actually clean it just so I reset to clean lens again. All right, so there we go. We're back to square one. Lens is clean, looks good. Uh, just perfect is brand new. So leaf. So maybe we try something a little more, a little more scratchy. This is off of i uh, I'm not sure what kind of tree this is from, but anyways, here it is. It's uh, one of those. So let's go, let's get to it. Clean, clean, clean in a lens with a plant. Yeah, anyways. Ooh, that's a bad look. Okay, that's a bad look. Check that out. That doesn't look good, but anyways, we're gonna do the reset. Ooh, we might have actually did something with that. Yeah, no, I don't think so. But let's just give it a good, a really good wipe just to be sure. Yeah, no, it's uh, still looking good. All right, so the leaves, they didn't do anything. That's fine. That was kind of to be expected, to be honest. I thought maybe this, the scratcher one could have, but I didn't think so. Now, what if you got a piece of dust on there and it's just not coming off? You know how you sometimes you're wiping stuff or whatever. Here, you just grab your fingers and you start scratching the hell out of it. These are my fingernails, by the way. All right, here we go. Back to scratching. Scratch, 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 scratch. Ooh, look at that piece of dust. Come on, dust. Get that dust off. Scratch that dust off. Scratch it off. Come on, baby. Now I'm just scratching the hell out of this thing. And we're going to see what's what. All right, there seems to... I'm pushing hard on it, too. I'm not just trying to be gentle. All right, so here's what it looks like. Now we're going to press the reset button and see what's what. See if we got anything with my claws. That's a negative. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing but the claws. All right. So there we are. We got nothing on the claws. Okay. So this, So how about this? The, this dust is so stubborn, you used your claws. You couldn't get it off. There's, there's something, I don't know what's on there. Maybe it's something splattered up from the ground, hit your lens, and you try to get it off with your claws. It ain't going to happen. All right. You know what you do? You're out in the woods. Uh, you're shooting some landscapes or something. Or even you're just in the city. Bam. You find this stick. Hey. Light bulb. Here we go. Check that out. All right. So what are you going to do? You grab the stick and you say, you know what? Stick's going to get that off. So you start going like this. Get that off there. Now you might not bang it like that, like I am. Maybe you just wipe it, but then it doesn't come off at first. So you get some little dust off and then you take the end of your stick again. I'm just banging it all in one spot. That way it scratches it then we know, okay, that one spot, that's the scratch from the stick. All right, now, we're gonna see how that goes. Oh, I think we actually got some. Oh yeah, we got actual scratches from the stick. Yeah, stick test definitely did some scratches. Um, so here. All right, so we got our first scratch. It's one, eh, it's one decent scratch and then a bunch of little ones. Okay, so lesson learned. If you need to clean a piece of dust off your lens, do not use a stick. It's gonna scratch the lens, all right? Don't use a stick. Okay, we're, we're done with that. Now, uh, also another test. So here, here we go, remember, we only know there's one light scratch. You know what, yeah, that is a light scratch actually. I probably wouldn't even do anything to your photos to be honest with you. I'm gonna show you one more time before we get on with it. All right, here we go. We got that one scratch. I memorized where it is. It's where the Minolta sign starts, right where the M is, but you know, centimeter over and then up halfway up the lens. So that's what that is. Okay, so next test is camera bag. So, you know, sometimes, well, you, here's a good one actually. You put the, you throw your lens in your bag. The lens cap popped off. Little did you know that that happened, right? That happens. So then we just gonna bang that around in there. Maybe you're you're just walking, da, 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 da. but then maybe you started running. 
you're running like crazy. All right, let me get to take a look at that and see see what happened. Let's get let's get our reset rig. As to be expected, nothing. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I thought maybe the other scratch magically disappeared. Anyways, okay, so nothing happened. Lens cap's harmless, don't worry about it. If it's in there and it pops off and it's been banging around, don't worry about it, It didn't do. it's not gonna do nothing. All right, so what if, uh, what if you had, you know, you had some uh, extra batteries in there? Yeah, you know, you got your flash, you gotta have extra batteries. So you had your extra batteries in there, you had an extra battery for your camera, and then you just kind of threw the lens in there. And you didn't, because you forgot it was, you just threw it in, you didn't have your cap, whatever. All right, and then we're gonna see what's what. So again, you're just walking, walking down the street, and then all of a sudden you gotta run. You gotta run, because the light is changing. Run! Run! All right, and you do some jumps, you're doing flips, you're going crazy. Oh, dang, my battery's gonna come bust my tooth. All right, that's enough running, all right? So we're gonna see what's what. So here, here, here's what it looked like inside. All right. Now I have a feeling this is gonna be a little. Well, reset rag. That didn't do anything. Yeah, that did nothing. All right, so there you go. There you have it. If you got batteries and stuff in here, it's just an extra camera battery and four AA batteries is what I had in there. So if that happens to you, your lens was in there, it didn't have a lens cap, don't worry about it, it's not gonna do anything. Um, okay, let's get rid of that stuff. What if, uh, what if you had your flash in there? That's an old school flash, I don't care about it anyways, it's old, it just, I, I had it in a bag. All right, so you got your flash in there, there's the flash, it's going in, you throw that in your bag, and then uh, whatever. I don't know what the situation is, but you got your lens and your flash in there at the same time. Here we go. Walk in, normal, bags just, you know, banging around. Then you gotta run. You running like crazy. You jumping. You back flipping. All right, run, 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 run. Woo, that was tiring. That was a lot of running. All right, let's see what's what. <laughs> oh, look at the flash. <laughs> the back of the flash popped off. Check this out. All right, so it looks like the flash, uh, the flash took some damage here. This thing uh, popped off at the back of the flash here. Check that out. Anyways, good thing I don't care about it. Now, how how'd our lens do from all that? Ooh, I think there might be a mark there. Where's the reset rig? Nothing. Well, you know what? There might be one tiny scratch there. I don't know. Let me just make sure that's a scratch. Yeah, maybe a tiny, tiny one. I'll poke my finger. You couldn't even, you're not going to be able to see it on the camera anyways. You know what? I'm going to say that did nothing. It did do something though. It's like this big and it's, the light's got to hit it just right to be able to make it out. Like it's barely there. All right. So if you got your flash in there and you're running, running and stuff, don't worry about it. Well, I don't recommend doing it, but I'm just saying, if it happens, you don't gotta lose your mind, like, oh my God, my flash and my lens was in there with no lens cap, because it ain't gonna do nothing. All right, so, now, ooh, here's a good one, here's a good one. All right, so, say you're out shooting photos. Oh, here's another piece of the flash, anyways. So say you're out shooting photos, right? You don't wanna have your keys in your pocket, so you just, you know, you just throw it in your, your camera bag, right? It's cool, and then uh, you forget all about it. You change your lens, bam, lens is back in there. Here we go, we got- Ah! You are never gonna believe what happened. All right, you know how that one camera stopped working? Like I said in the beginning of the video, my main camera stopped working too. So where the video uh, just ended like two seconds ago, that's it, that's all the footage I got. So I, I can't even believe it, but I'm pretty sure I know what happened. The room I was filming in is a sunroom and it's like just boiling hot in there. And I tried to film the video earlier, but some construction workers came out and started working right outside of the house. So I decided just to, you know, wait those guys out. I left the cameras in there and they were just like boiling in direct hot sunlight. 
And then I came in, and uh, when the construction guys were done, I just got to work. But, uh, yeah, that really sucks, man. So I'm going to try to salvage the video here. So here's what happened. Uh, so, you know, I dump out everything, and the lens was pretty much fine. Um, it was only until I took a scotch bright to the lens that some real scratches that did some serious damage eventually showed up. Um, so... I don't know, I guess to wrap up the video, I don't know, these are a couple of hard lessons to learn. You know, don't leave the cameras in the hot sun or don't film in a sunroom that's boiling hot. So, hey, I'm really sorry about that, guys, but um, I thankfully I got some B-roll of the, you know, the camera afterwards and all that. But, um, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'll definitely be sure to uh, do a better job on the next video and uh, make sure we get some good stuff. All right, thanks for watching. All right, guys, so I'm just going to try to point out to you some of the scratches that were in the video since I wasn't able to get those close-up shots. So the stick one was right here now i don't even know if you could see that on the video probably not it was really really small to be honest with you the only scratches that could really you could actually see were these and that was from the scotch bright but all in all everything else you know it did nothing um that one scratch from the stick i mean it's there but yeah it's hard to find so anyways Sorry about the technical difficulty, guys. I'll uh, be sure to use a better secondary camera next time. All right, see you.